This story is called, Oh, Were They Ever Happy? It was written by, and illustrated by, Peter Spear. On this page you can see three children and a dog, all of whom are smiling, sort of like the smile on the author's and the illustrator's face. That's Peter Spear in the corner, and he has the same kind of smile that the children do. It happened on a Saturday morning that Mrs. Noonan said to her husband, When are you going to paint the outside of the house? You've been talking about it for months. After breakfast, Mr. and Mrs. Noonan left for a day of errands. They told the children to behave themselves, that the babysitter would be there in a few minutes, that they were to feed the cat and the dog, and make their beds, that their lunch was in the refrigerator, and that they would be back late that afternoon. But the sitter never showed up. I do not know who thought of it first, but there was plenty of paint in the garage and lots more in the workshop in the basement. The brushes were down there too, lots of them. The long aluminum ladder was in the garage. The short step ladder in the pantry. And after all, what more do you need to paint a house? The woodwork goes pretty fast. I like this blue. Hmm, lovely yellow. Windows are a pain to do. A nice shade of green. Covers well. Oh, oops! Clumsy. Butterfingers. There's nothing like a fresh coat of paint. The can is empty. I'll get another. What a terrific red! Neat job! Shutters are pretty tricky to do. The fence needs painting too. Pretty color. Gosh! It took a lot of paint! All done. Now let's clean up. Put the ladders back where they were. Clean the brushes. Good children. They even remembered to put the empty paint cans in the street for the garbage man. They didn't forget a thing. Sure looks swell. Won't they be happy when they come home and see what we've done? Oh, were they ever happy? Peter Spear had a difficult childhood growing up in Holland. He and his father were taken prisoner during World War II. After World War II ended, Peter served in the Dutch Navy for four years, and then his whole family, in 1950, moved to the United States. So he was an immigrant to America. He became an American citizen. He loved doing books, 30 of them, in his lifetime. He won the Caldecott Medal for a book called Noah's Ark, and he won uh, other awards as well. Um, he lived on the North Shore of Long Island. Now, 
couple things about this book before we finish. Down at the bottom, you see a URL, a web address, to find out the safest way to dispose of old paint cans. Habitat for Humanity is happy to help you with this because they can use some of the paint. But it's dangerous to just throw trash, so you have to be careful and check with your city hall or your municipality to see the best way to dispose of paint. Also, it's different in other states, but in Michigan, you have to be at least 11 years old to be left in charge of your little brother and sister, or even to be left alone at home. So the idea of being without a babysitter all day is not a very safe thing. Children shouldn't crawl up on ladders by themselves. But Peter Spear was just having fun and imagining what a day like that might be like. Can you imagine what Mr. Noonan and what Mrs. Noonan said when they got home that day? This book has been, Oh, Were They Ever Happy? by Peter Spear.